Ah, stupid buttons. <laughs> yeah. This is not a good video okay. game. Okay. So are uh, are there three. any Christians who no, don't have not. a potty mouth? Christian, out there? Christians, you guys are being represented by crank collars. Is that really what mm. you want? Yeah. Please call in. Uh, all right, Don. You're next. Don. Hello. Hi, Don. Hi. You're on. Oh, hi. Yeah, sorry. There's there's like a three-second delay on the TV, and it's messing me up a little bit. Yeah, the best thing to do is turn your TV down and just pay attention to the phone. Okay. 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 Um, yeah, the, sorry, you know, those last two um, prank calls, that's, uh, it's a shame, really, because it, um, yeah, it goes with I the think territory it undermines, of public access. It undermines the exchange of ideas, and it's silly, and I think most people recognize that. Um, but anyway, here, here's my thing. I, uh, I am an atheist, and I agree with you guys um, virtually everything that you say. And I think that you, uh, you obviously are, are well studied, and you, uh, you make logical arguments, and you're reasonable and rational, and that's all anybody can expect uh, in a debate. Here's, here's the part where I think atheism rubs people the wrong way and that is the notion it's a it's a it's really a paradigm shift in a way it's the notion of separating religion and the dogmas that are associated with it and the culture and heritage and history of one's people okay mm -hmm. if that makes any sense okay. for example um I am an atheist. However, uh, if if I if I throw away Christianity, for example, I am in essence throwing away two thousand years of my bloodline. Okay, how so? And the, and their culture, and their history, <laughs> and their experiences. You're not throwing it away, you're just not choosing to believe in it. I mean, yeah. you know, if you're Greek, then you have Zeus and stuff in your background, and you can study them and respect those, uh, you know, the, the thought that went into it without thinking that it's real. I understand, I, I understand that. But I, I'm just telling you that the, that the way this comes across, the, the reason that, you, that I think that you get so many irrational wacky callers who are Christians, I'm, I'm going to tell you that 90% of Christians don't really believe that, well, okay, let me scale that down, let me say 70%, don't really believe that the earth is 5,000 years old. And um, that, uh, I think that more than that actually do believe, but I mean, I, okay, I well, don't think it's a majority, but I think yeah. that there's a, you might be underestimating. Okay, yeah. okay, give, give, let's, let's, let's say 50%. It, it's a sizable, sizable number mm -hmm. of people who are intelligent people who reject all of the mythology of Christianity, but they're not prepared to to disown and forget their ancestors and their culture and their heritage and their history. Okay. Well, that may be true. Um, I think we're going to have to move on. We're uh, we're down to eight minutes in the show, and uh, I think mm -hmm. we've got a caller that we want to get to. So uh, thanks for calling, Don. Okay. Okay. Uh, one more time, I'd like to plug Thread Gills after the show and also mention that if you are one of the people who it looks like won't get on the, on the air today, uh, you can always email us after the show. The address is tv at atheist-community.org. That goes to the host, the co-hosts, and all the producers and people involved with the show. Somebody will surely answer your question. They've been really good about that lately.